All right, so here's what happened. I got these shoes made with Vans because you know they're doing like this custom thing at the moment. So boom, got those ordered, everything was cool. Then I get email a few days later like, oh, we've sent you a refund. I think they were like a hundred or something like that. I'm not gonna lie, I'd never been so mad to receive my money back in my life. I was like, what do you mean you sent my money back? So yeah, naturally, I hit him on the email like, yo, what's good? Like, where are my shoes? Why did you refund this? The guy hits me back on the email I'll probably put an email like here. So he hits me back on the email and he's like, um, oh, these are the reasons why you didn't get your shoes. So anyway, it comes down to like copyright and stuff like that. So I'm like, buddy, like, these are all my designs, my text, blah, blah, blah. So then he's like, oh, even though it's your logo, it could still be classed as copyright. So I think after that, I sent him the picture or something like that for him to like verify, like, I bet you check this and you tell me if it's copyright. And then the guy just airs the email, like he doesn't even reply. But at that point, I'm like, you know what, bun this. I'm going to make these myself and I'm going to make a video out of it and I'm going to run up a check. You know what I'm saying? So here we are. Let's get it. So these are the vans I'm going to be customizing. Just some standard old schools. This is the paint I'm going to be using. Obviously, I'm going to be doing lightning. So I got the blues and I got the white here. I don't know what brand this is. I just bought it from a random arts and crafts shop. Just make sure you get fabric paint. That's pretty much all that matters. Got my brushes here. Probably only going to use one of these, but just multiple in case. Lastly, I got my stencil. Basically, how I got this, I just went on Google. Um, made my own design in Photoshop and then just sent them a basic A4 page of my designs. If you know, you know, you got the signature, how to use or design, lightning, smiley face. And then I've got lightning here. It's a plastic sheet. So yeah, I'm not gonna lie, I ain't seen no one doing these trainer customizations using like plastic stencils. People use stencils, but it's usually paper and they're like super thin and you have to tape everything. Obviously we're coming different in our videos, so I'm not gonna do all that taping and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go straight from here to here and how it comes out is how it comes out. You know you know how we're doing it on this channel. <laughs> so yeah, that's pretty much everything you need. Also over here, I've got the shoe made up in digital form. So I'm literally just gonna paint off of looking at that. So first of all, I'm gonna start off painting the lightning. As you can see in the design I've made, the lightning is in the backdrop and then the smiley face and the letters are over the lightning. First of all, I started painting and then realized this is not working. Like the plastic is just too hard to bend around the shoe. Now I realize why people use paper because it's just easier to manipulate. So what we're going to do instead is just use a white pencil, mark out the lines and then go over it with paint. So at this point, I'm just going to ditch the stencil. It's not making things any easier. Uh, I'm just going to draw the rest freehand. I've got my image as a reference for the lightning. So now we're finna move on to the painting, so let's get it. Now we're moving on to the blue glow. Uh, just make sure the white paint's dried before you add this. This is pretty much it if you want to put lightning on your vans. From this point on, I'm adding my own logos. So, yeah. So with the logos, I went back to using the stencil um, just to get as much detail as possible. I found using a white gel pen was a lot easier than a pencil because you could get in between the stencil a lot easier. So 
but that's a rack for shoe number one i'm probably going to add one more logo after this i'm just going to zoom through the lightning on shoe number two so let's get it So these are the two finishes I've got. One is Anglius and the next one is Windsor and Newton. This one I've used in the other video. I don't know if it works so great because it did start peeling. So I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna try this one for this video. For this one, I'm gonna use the bigger brush just so I cover everywhere properly. So this is the final outcome of how they're looking. I think they look super clean. Let me get that lace out the way. <laughs> yo, these are crazy. Like, yo, who's going harder than us, man? Like, yo, if Vans don't stop playing and give me that collab, like, I, yo, Vans need to hit me up. You know what I'm saying? Hardest old schools on YouTube. Vans, hit me up, let's get his work.